about to go and attempt to be social. It was so awkward vlogging in public. But yeah, about to go meet um this fellow mom from the peanut app. She's 28 and a single mom by choice, and I thought that was really cool. So yeah, I'm in Rosedale on some random bench. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, walk. We're meeting in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna go walk to the Starbucks we're meeting at. Um, yeah and then like i'm going to see my friend after it was her birthday yesterday so i got a gut or something and then my other friend decided she was also coming so we might meet up before and then go to her house um like my other friend's house but i'm just it's like it ended up being too much social stuff crammed into one day which is I was just thinking in the car you know like that's just how it goes when it rains it pours you know so it's gonna be a social day and it's not usually my thing I don't really enjoy socializing without alcohol I'm being like grotesquely honest But, gotta force myself to do things I don't want to do, so I can be the person I want to be. And that's all there is to it. Alright, gonna get off this bench now, walk to the Starbucks. It was a successful day of socializing, and I'm just at this Italian restaurant in Yorkville getting takeout. Next station is York Mills, York Mills Station. Okay, so I'm gonna be attempting to do makeup. It's like 12.30, I'm going to dinner tonight later, but I thought I would just do it now. So I never do makeup, keep this in mind. Um, So I just washed my face with Burt's Bees. Um, this stuff is usually what I use. Then I put this on. It's from Lush. Oh my gosh, how do you make things? Oh, it's tea tree water toner. I use that every day, usually at night. And then I, I got this yesterday. Um, from Sephora. It's just the Glow Recipe like sorry Hyaluronic Cream like sorry y'all <laughs> can we focus? There we go, Hi Hyaluronic Cream Glow Recipe from Sephora, Dewy Moisture and Plump. And then it said on the instructions to put on after serum and I don't use serum usually, but I found this serum in my drawer. I just got it before from Sephora. Just the classic Sephora serum, so I put that on. Then I put on the Hyra Luronic Cream. And that's my base because I don't wear foundation. Okay. So I got a bunch of stuff from Sephora yesterday. I just have to clean. 
close my window because I'm getting kind of self-conscious about my neighbors hearing me. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff from Sephora yesterday that I'm going to use today to do my makeup. I have like a basic idea of makeup. I'm pretty, like I'm good with my makeup abilities. I just don't really wear it because I have no reason. But, so I'm just going to do bronzer first. I use the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. And then I haven't had anything. I usually just use my hands, but yesterday I got this from Sephora Beauty Blender Kit thing. What does it come with? Um, a beauty blender, a cleanser for it, um... Yeah, basically stuff to clean it with. So I'm going to keep the box in case I don't know how to clean it. Comes in the little, little pouch -a room, so that's cute. Um, so... I'm just going to do the bronzing first. And last night I slept with a um, overnight mask from the body shop. Um, this one, and then I added like, are we okay camera? The hemp overnight mask and I added this stuff. I like this stuff. Ew, they're there. Oh my gosh, there's two hairs. That's gross. Okay. Um sides of the nose and I don't really like doing the under chin because I don't really care about my double chin. Okay, and then I guess we just, like, I don't, I think I've used a beauty blender like a few times. Um, I think we're doing it right. Yeah. I think I put too much bronzer doll. Okay. I got a pretty good sleep last night. Um, my daughter was sleeping at my mom's house. So I got to actually sleep. And I woke up feeling pretty refreshed. Made two beaded necklaces for my Etsy. And had a nice coffee. Um, and then I, you know, the day was getting on. It's probably like one by now. So I decided, okay, let's get ready for later and do some other stuff. Okay. Does that look correct? I don't know. Did I do something wrong? I think I like just put too much in now. There's like too much to blend. Okay. Sides of the nose. 
Do you use the other side? I don't know. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ew. Uh, yeah, I'm just really into the tanned look. I used to like be into the pale look and try to look more pale. But now like I could not look tanned enough. Um, I got a spray tan the other day. I think I vlogged that. I don't know. But yeah, got a spray tan the other day. Definitely doing that instead of tanning from, from now on. Especially since you can do it while pregnant. That's, that's a pretty big bonus. Um, and um, so I like a spray tan and then I use like the Jergens, like this stuff with like oil and I take a night shower and as I showed you the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze on the face with like my moisturizing cream. And that has kind of just been my summer, summer look, even though it's probably been like the least social summer of my life. Like literally it's been a pretty, it's been a homebound summer. Absolutely, it's been a homebound summer. Um, and now I'm kind of just starting to try to like have a bit more of a social life. Not really easy to just pounce back in because um, I don't know, I feel like I have social anxiety like I always have but then like if you kind of like avoid it for a while like it kind of just comes back and gets worse so and I'm like I can't drink I can't do the normal things I like kind of comfort myself with which I know is not a good thing but <sighs> whatever social life has been kind of just coming back lately as it tends to. You know, it's just like there's ebbs and flows in every area I find, so. And I actually have like really, like a good amount of like contemplation time and just like time to reflect internally, which was necessary. Um, so I also got from Sephora, this retractable brush. So I got that because I I like the idea of like keeping it in my bag. And I got a highlighter duo. The one they had, Aurora. I guess they were sold out. So I got Sunrise instead of Aurora. Cause like it's like whatever. It's not like I know what I'm doing anyway. Okay. So here's the shades. It's kind of hard to see. And I'm just gonna try attempt a little highlight. I'm guessing you put the darker one. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna put the darker one like in the places where I don't want it to be like crazy, like there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. There, and I'm probably going to put it just like here. As I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of vaguely have picked up some tips and tricks over the years that I'm guessing are the basics. Okay, highlighter. Oops, I think I put too much. I'm not surprised. Fuck. Definitely put too much. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the lighter one. I feel like this was just the wrong, this is not the right brush to be using. I need a smaller one. Um, I haven't used my brushes in so long. Okay, I have this brush that I'm pretty sure is for highlighter. So I'm gonna take the lighter one and do the do here. Okay. Am I doing this right? I have no idea. Okay. That's good for that. What's next? Um, okay, next I'm gonna put on this stuff. Uh just the Sephora eyeshadow primer. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that on. I don't know. How much or where you're supposed to put it but I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna kind of rub it all over I guess okay Cool. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm also gonna put on eyelash primer at the same time. Just decided like I just want to wear makeup more like I just want to try more at least while I have the time and while I still can 
because like I don't know it's just fun to do sometimes and I just literally never wear makeup anymore so I'm like let me try something new I don't know I think the time I wore makeup most was in high school university was not fun for me I just I didn't really want to just get out of high school and then do more work and deal with more school school is just not my thing so I didn't, I don't remember how much makeup I wore around that time. Then I probably wore more again for the years I was looking for a sugar daddy. Okay, also, I, so I met this girl from Peanut, right? We had, like, a two-hour conversation. Like, we were chilling. I thought we had a nice time. Um, I texted her yesterday. We had, like, two days ago. I texted her yesterday. Just like a friendly little text, and she hasn't replied. Like, why does this stuff have to be so hard? Oh, yeah, I also got, this was a bit ago I got an eyelash curler, but I totally forgot, forgot to do that step, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, like, I swear, meeting up with females for, like, a, from an app is so much more stressful than, like, a male. Because with, like, dating and males, it's, like, very straightforward. Like, we all know what the scoop is. And with females, it's just so fucking subtle and, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. So cool, maybe we'll just never talk again. Awesome. And I'll never ever know why. Amazing, I love female friendships. I love trying to make new female friendships. It's just such fun, I can't even tell you. I'm just gonna keep trying though. I mean, oh fuck, it's just so annoying. Whatever, but you know how it goes. I got this two yesterday essential eye brush set. Oh shit, I mean shoot. I'm trying not to swear. I need like a little cup to put it in. Um, I'll do that after I clean the bathroom. So I got this eyeshadow palette um I don't know anything about eyeshadow like I really don't so I'm just gonna just gonna bring it all right I'm gonna go in like go right on in with I guess like maybe this right The non-shimmery lighter one, I guess. Okay. And I'm just gonna attempt to do the whole, the whole lid with that. I've never been good at eyeshadow. It doesn't come naturally to me. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I figure it can't be that hard. 
So, okay, cute. I just am not really sure about like blending the edges, like what, I don't really know what the scoop is in that department. Kind of missing my baby daddy right now. I'm gonna see him later. I don't know why I just suddenly missed him. Okay, definitely have to blend out the edges more. Oh, I hate blending the edges. Like, I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So then I'm guessing I use a smaller brush. And then I'm just going to use like the dark brown, right? You do dark on the outside and I'm going to do it. This is the hardest part. I think I'm actually just going to put it on the sides. And then blend it, right, with like a bigger brush. Sorry, I'm trying to like. Like, is this doing something? I just don't know, like, where does it end? Like, where... some like pretty unpleasant dreams last night um involving this guy I was like dating in rehab <sighs> and just woke up kind of missing him like that was a really intense relationship and I am pretty surprised that we just don't talk anymore and that it's just over I mean it was an intense relationship Okay, I think I over blended it, but cool, whatever. I guess it's better than not blending enough. But yeah, it was an intense relationship. And it was like really in, like emotional, intense dreams. And I woke up missing him and it was fucking sad. And fuck, I just, I wish I haven't had, like I hadn't done that. Like I wish I hadn't had So many, you know, super emotional romances that, like, I can look back on and, like, have my whole life to, like, look back on and regret that they didn't work out. But that's the most recent one. And, like, I do kind of, I'm sad it didn't work out. Or maybe that's just this morning because of the dreams, but... I miss him, you know. Oh well. I mean, I don't miss him enough to like do anything about it. Like I wouldn't contact him or anything. Okay, now I'm gonna go in, <laughs> go in. What are you going with? Okay. I guess like a little brush and like the light color for the inside, right? But yeah, I was actually surprised at how 
emotional those dreams were. Like I was missing him for like a good few hours when I woke up. And like I still kind of am to be honest with you. Not enough to text him, like don't be crazy. Like I'd never text a guy first. I'm sure I would in the past, but like now I know that's just not, that's just not proper conduct. Um, so, you know, that's fine. And it's not like I, re it's not like I really regret like that all these romances of the past didn't work out because <sighs> I'd way rather have my kids and like my um my baby dads and like my husband and like because they're both just really um reliable and amazing and you know if I'd actually continued with these romances of the past, like I wouldn't have the life I have now and it just wouldn't be my life. So I don't regret that they didn't work out. Okay, we're done. Does this look good? I feel like it looks decent. Okay, closing that up. I gotta wash those brushes there. Okay. And now I guess we just do the mascara and then the eyebrows, right? I can't believe I was like not using lash primer for so long because it literally is like the secret ingredient. Um, I was considering like getting back on some like magnetic lashes. Um, Cause I like really like magnetic lashes. Like I would not do glue again now that those exist, but I'm, you know what? I feel like when did natural eyelashes become like not enough? Like they're fine. But they definitely, like, I'm definitely getting mascara on my eyeshadow creation right now. Okay, whatever. We'll fix that after, I guess. But yeah. Now that I've like kind of discussed that, oh my god, shoot, I'm like not doing a good job. Actually, I think this makeup looks decent. Um, now that I've kind of been discussing that, now I'm kind of feeling emotional and like about like the past romances of my life. And I guess like it's like coming up to his birthday too. Maybe that's reminding me. I don't know but and like you know this point of summer kind of I don't know about anyone else but it's like the climax of summer it kind of gets me emotional like remembering the past and like things that could have been that weren't and like So I'm just feeling emotional. So that's probably why I want to see my baby dads. So, I don't know. Probably invite him over later. It's just easier than going to his place. I don't really feel like... I don't really feel like leaving the house. 
so maybe invite him over later because I really don't like wearing makeup even though like I am going out and like not getting like mm, my money's worth like I need a male who is attracted to me to like see the look I probably sound so stupid. Okay, what's next? Got the clear brow gel. I guess first I'm just gonna put a little, a little extra extra. I'm just gonna use like this thing. It's just like half of the thing missing the pencil. Oh my gosh, there's like none left either. Okay, whatever. Just adds a little more brow. My brows are just not that full. So just a few swiperoos, and then I'm just gonna do clear brow gel. And it's just the Sephora brand clear brow gel. I was gonna get the Anastasia one, but I'm like, no, no, no. Let me get a cheap one, because who cares what am I doing? Like, I have to start being economical. Like, that's kind of my new goal for, like, the fall. Is, like, start being economical. Getting, like... Like, not getting the expensive version of stuff for absolutely no reason. Like, absolutely no reason. Okay. Next, brown. Okay. Done. Then I'm just gonna. Oh, I gotta. Well, I usually use this for like setting spray. But I did get a new setting spray, um, just the Sephora brand. So I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, I like to put a ton of setting spray. Mm. And I like to use a blow dryer to like dry everything because it just feels amazing.
makeup looks done and yeah i think it will obviously look better when my hair looks normal um i'm gonna probably just do like dry shampoo and straightener but let me just show finished product Yeah, like it looks fine, right? Like it's there, but it's like subtle. Okay. Then it'll probably look a lot better. When I do my hair. But, um, yeah. That's the look. Let me know if you want more makeup tutorials. Just kidding. Mom's <laughs> 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 like this. Um, this is a gift from the wonderful chef to us. He had the whole. The whole thing? Last time we did the a la carte. No, but it was part of the a la carte, so I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> Season bolted spinach, so you taste the iron component in the uh, sauté cream that it presents to you three different like Flower smile. Nice. Nice. I can't describe. I have it. It's more so the combination of everything together is what makes the experience on its own. It's probably very good. Double shot here. Like anything, right? I'm so dog shit, and then their dog passed away yesterday. Yeah, I know.